Hey, what's up everybody? So it looks like we have a new celebration over here on Global, even though we're still in the midst of the crossover special campaign. I mean, literally the heroes banners dropped and then like two, three days later, they're like, oh yeah, um, here comes LR, Vegeta, and Trunks right away. Um, so we got another celebration and it's, we pretty much have like two celebrations going on at the same time right now, basically. Um, so let's take a look here, um, nothing, uh, too crazy that I'm seeing, I mean, there is a lot of good stuff in this celebration, don't get me wrong, but nothing that's, like, j jumping out at me, like, like, we know that already wasn't coming, you know, um, so we got the special missions, of course, login bonus, you know, tons of free stones and rewards for everybody, a co-op campaign, connect, Hope Transcending Time, the all-user co-op campaign. And then, yes, LR Vegeta and Trunks' banner is dropping in a couple hours, I think. I'm pretty sure it says it says the 28th, which, you know, will be tomorrow, of course. Once I upload this, it'll probably be like 8, a little after 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. Um, so that's 1.30 a.m. on the 28th, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume that's in a couple hours. So, Pride Packs, Dragonstone Stales, of course, yes. You know Dokon. And we got an Extreme Z Awakening for the Super Strike King Vegeta, so that's pretty cool, I'll have to grind him up. Um, yep, more free stones, we got a new stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History, new stage of Boss Rush. So that'll be cool to clear. I can do videos on both of those. And then it just looks like we've got some reopenings of some story events and some easy areas, this prime battle event. And then, yeah, our, we're getting quad XP for quests and success rates and training tripled. Nothing, nothing we haven't seen before during these some of these celebrations. And then, yeah, the Tanabata banner. The seven-year LRs are, atten are returning, my bad. You guys better have your red coins ready, because, I mean, unless you're pulling them. But if you don't end up pulling them, I hope you have some red coins saved up if you have yet to pull the seven-year LRs, or if you just want to get some dupes for them like me. By all means, they are, they're going to be in the coin shop when this banner drops on the 5th. So that's pretty cool. More, more packs for sale. Nice, of course. Yep. <laughs> You know Dokon, greedy money grubbin' Dokon. That's all right. They treat us pretty well, I think. As long as you get what you're looking for, but it's not always the case when you summon, you know, these gotcha games. Um, but yeah, Tech Vegito Blue, STR Rose, finally getting their easy A. So I already have both of them max links. I have Tech Vegito Blue Rainbow, and I believe my Rosé is like 79% or something. So I can't do a can't do a rainbow video on Rosé, but we'll at least be able to look at them with some dupes in them. The 50th Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. You, I love Battlefield Clash. It's like one of my favorite events, even though it's, it's not that crazy anymore. You know, it's just an easy clear, decent rewards. Hopefully... Maybe they'll update it with this celebration, give us like some future Saga enemies to kind of fit the theme of this celebration to fight, so. Chain Battle, uh, I'm not too crazy on Chain Battle, but I guess I, I could do a video on this one because, you know, Fusion Zamasu and stuff. So, this is part one, so I'd imagine during part two we, we should get LR Fusion Zamasu. I don't think they're going to push him back like they did with LR Golden Frieza during the Resurrection F blue celebration and then i guess they're also adding a new stage of super battle road as well so yeah lots of lots of content i can constantly be doing it's just uh you know when i feel like it because <laughs> I, I don't always get around to it all the time every day but you know I'll, I'll try to stay consistent with my videos and stuff like that and upload when i can or you know whenever you um, know but yeah that, that looks like it does it for this uh the celebration, the Starry Winter Night Frosty Dokkan campaign. Yep, we got the login bonus, the special missions, the co-op campaign, so I'm guessing here in a couple hours, you know, LR, Vegeta, and Trunks are gonna drop, so that'll be cool. Their banner is not the best, 
I don't know if I recommend summoning on it for you guys. I'm going to, obviously. Um, because I want them. They're, like, the best unit in the game right now, so. And I do have, like, 1,700 gold, or not gold coins, red coins. Man, if I had 1,700 gold coins, that'd be crazy. I have 444. Oh, look who they threw in the yellow coin shop. That's an LR I'm missing. I don't have those guys yet. Cool, cool. Blue coins, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so if you guys are ready to pick up some copies, maybe you'll actually summon on the Tanabata banner itself. It's going to have quite a bit of featured units, but if you're lucky enough, you could very well pull Vegeta and Trunks or one of the seven-year LRs. But I hope you guys have some red coins saved up. If you're not going to summon or if you don't end up pulling them, maybe you can get a copy of them if you don't have them or if you just want some dupes for them. So that's pretty cool. You know, the seven-year LRs... Um, are, are still really good, you know, they guard for those first couple turns, or just, I guess it's just the first turn, and then they, you know, stack, attack, and defense, they got their transformations, they're, they're crazy, so, I do have one dupe in the gods here, but the Super Saiyan 4s, I have 55%, so if we don't end up pulling a copy of either of them, honestly, I'm probably just going to buy two copies of the Super Saiyan 4s if we don't pull them. Uh, I, I want these guys 79%. Heck yeah. I'll drop a thousand coins easily to get these guys some uh, hidden potential skills. You know, get those extra stats. They will be slapping then. Um, same with the gods. I honestly want to get them to 79% uh, as well. So we'll see. Maybe we can pull a copy of one of them and then we'll only have to get two copies, but if we don't, um, I, I might get three copies. One extra of the gods to 79% them, and two for the Super Saiyan 4s, get them 79%, and then we'll be looking good. And they'll be a lot crazier uh, on these teams we're running them on and stuff like that. But yeah, LR, Vegeta, and Trunks. I hope you guys are ready, man. This It's going to be pretty good. Annihilation, yeah. There's Tech Bardock. The man. He's so cool. I like that card. I can't wait till he comes out on Global, but... For now... We have this to look forward to. This kind of team we're gonna be running. I don't see uh, these guys as easy A's in the celebration. LR, Rose, and Zamasu. But... One can only imagine that it's, it's gonna be during this celebration, for sure. Um, maybe they'll drop it during part two, I guess. And yeah, I still have yet to EZA him on global. Because we can, I, I gotta do a showcase on him. But I guess I can, might as well just wait now because he's on these guys' 200% leader skill. I don't think he had a 200% leader skill before LR, Vegeta, and Trunks. But yeah, we've got LR, Vegeta, and Trunks coming. AGL, Goku, Black. He's a decent support um, for... You know, future Saga, he can get pretty high defense, but that's about it. I mean, he, he's not really too crazy in the difficult content. Like, he can obviously definitely get one shot easily in, like, the red zone or cell max, but he, he's not bad. Same with Rosé, he's pretty good. I like his sticker, that sticker looks pretty crazy. His aura in the background, all these orange swirls. He just has to get a final blow to get, like, some extra attack and defense. I think it's 50%, it says right there. But he's a, he's a decent extreme class support. LR Fusion Zamasu, yeah, he'll he'll probably be dropping in part two. We'll see. Even at 55%, man, this, this guy's awesome. Aesthetically, like, his art, his animations, the active skill, the intro, his counterattack, he's so cool. It's such a cool LR. Um... Hopefully I get as lucky summoning for, you know, these guys on JP. I'm, I don't know if you guys seen the video or not way back when these guys came out. Um, initially on this Japanese version of Dokkan. I second multi, we got the Zeno for them. And then when LR Fusion Zamasu dropped, second multi, we got a Rift. It was crazy, man. I, I couldn't have asked for better luck on those two banners. So hopefully we can keep that luck for when they drop over here on global super pumped man vegeta and trunk like 
Vegeta's probably my favorite character, and Trunks is honestly probably, like, my second favorite character. Like, out of all of Dragon Ball, these two, man, like, Trunks is such a badass. He, maybe not as much in Super, but, like, still, Trunks with that sword, man, slicing Mecha Frieza in half, or, you know, killing the droids in his time when he goes back after, you know, they defeat Cell and all that, and then Vegeta's just Vegeta, you know, <laughs> you know him, he's... Yeah, definitely a Vegeta fanboy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pumped to see these guys in action. Hopefully we can pull them. You know, they got a, a good 200% leader skill. They guard in slot one. They stack attack and defense. So definitely ready to hopefully pull these guys. But we will see you later tonight. So I hope you guys are pumped up for them. Let me know if you're going to summon. And... If you do, or if you're skipping and saving stones for New Year's or whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, the celebration is here. Looks like we just got our login. Yep, double login. This is still going till, till the 4th, huh? Can't forget about the daily capsule. That's actually a good deal. Five stones. Heck yeah, that puts us at 780. You know what? I don't think that's enough. We might have to dip into the sales we'll see here because if i want to title the video a thousand stones i'm gonna need like a thousand stones <laughs> but i'm probably not gonna use them all we'll see but yeah I'm, I'm super pumped i hope you guys are too um we'll see i was actually i was gonna try to do yesterday i was trying to do uh red zone versus cumber but he was he was playing hard to get and uh Wow, it's actually letting us uh, reset it. I thought I still had to wait a little bit because you can only do it three times a day or whatever. Um, but yeah, we, we lost a couple times to Cumber. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Trunks was letting me down, man. That punk. I'm like, does he even have guard? He's got his high chance to guard. He's just not guarding for us. Cumber's is a, a bit of a harder fight because there's, there's three phases and he's all different types, so... We'll get it, though. Now I'll, I'll upload that at some point. Um, still link leveling this team when I can every now and again. I've, I've kind of not been link leveling it as much because I, you know, I linked all these uh, Super Saiyan 4s, Broly, Vegito, Bardock, Gohan, and then the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s. Now I was kind of linking this team a little bit. You know, you got Hearts and Sealess and all these extreme class heroes units. But all right, guys, that's going to be it. The Frosty Dokkan campaign is here. Let me know what you guys think of this celebration. I'm ready for it. The hype times are here. We've had quite a little bit of a, a dead space there for a while, but now there's, there's going to be plenty of stuff to do and content to clear and new units to use. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too, so... Let me know what you guys think of all this uh, coming to Global Dokkan, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.